guys, it's GK and today I decided that I'm going to start filming my back to school videos. I am planning on doing 12 days of back to school. You'll have a video every single day until school starts. So that should be interesting because I haven't done like something like that ever. Um, but the videos that I have planned are all back to school related, so I think it should be fine. Today's video is mainly just like an introduction. It's like, hey, I'm back, kinda. Um, I do plan on doing or continuing with my lunch videos when once school starts because I haven't been packing lunches, thank God, over the summer. I actually don't even have the kids with me, so update. Girls stay with my mom um, Sunday evening to... Friday and Friday afternoon we pick her up uh, or pick them up and we have them for Friday night and Saturday night and um, till Friday afternoon. So for back to school, I believe last year I had shown this. These are everything that I do. So um, I go through the kids clothes and see what I can reuse, what I can't, what they've uh, what clothes are like completely damaged beyond repair <laughs> and I'll get rid of those and then I'll also go through their existing supplies and then I'll make a list of what I need from what I have already um, and I do keep a binder so that I can put their stuff in once school starts. I haven't readied the binder yet and I do do a meal plan for the first two weeks just to make sure that you know I'm not overwhelmed uh, when school starts. Well, we still have time for this, but I will be getting their first um, Their first day of school and their picture day outfits ready and also making sure that I know what activities that I'm going to be signing them up for This is the list I follow um, Last year this was my starting school supply list and then this is my 2018 school supply list. So this is what I already have on hand so I do not need to purchase any of these things. And I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think I did. Um, so I'm going to be basing my list off of this. And if you want, I can show you their school supply box as well. Because we're going to go upstairs. And then just to show you, I just got home from work. And I've got dishes in the sink. My house is a mess. This is the kids area that I need to go through and sort of tidy up and um, organize and make it look a little bit better. You know, I actually had organized this. Okay, let me show you. I had organized this and the day I organized it, I really wanted to show it to you guys. But like when I had it initially, I did not have that lamp up there. I did not have that Elsa up there. Um, I had all these clothes. I didn't have that bristle board in here. I didn't have all these things on top here um, or this bag down here. And this was a lot more tidier. So I really wanted to film it, but then I got lazy. So I'm not gonna show it to you guys in, in detail, but these boxes down here, this is where I keep their school things. So that one has, what does it have? All those boxes there, it's my kids' school work. So from kindergarten all the way up to grade three, they're all like in there. I don't keep everything, I just keep some things. And this one just has some craft supplies and my Prismacolors in there. And then this one is the supply box. So extra notebooks, crayons, pencils, erasers, uh, glue, notebooks, paper, they're all in there. So that's pretty much it for back to school. So I, I like, there's no point in showing you how I sort through them. You know, you, you, you'll know when you look at a clothing, if it's ripped, if it's stained, get rid of it. Um, if it's still in an okay condition and you feel like they can still wear it, then I would use that for home wear. So that's it. Um, if you enjoy my videos, stick around. There will be more to come and I'm going to go film the next video. See you then. Bye.